this is the fifteenth lecture. This is our fifteenth lecture. We are going to start fifteenth lecture. This is the fifteenth lecture. Sir, अपना प्रेशर को क्या ठीक करवा लें? Wait. Yes. Now this is our fifteenth lecture. We are going to share the screen. Uh, okay. So this is our fifteenth lecture, and uh, just little bit. This is little bit overview. the previous lesson you know in the last less last slide we have done here but i hear problem is that corporate income income tax corporate income tax affect investment negatively as corporate income tax rises investment decreases we have done already the problem is that as price current price level rises for example current price is rises current price is rises but depreciation cost is calculated on the basis of the purchase price calculated on the basis of purchase price agar purchase price of the current price is kam hai then agar purchase price current price jo ke badh chuki hai usse kam hai then aapki jo cost hai wo under estimate hogi कास्ट क्या होगी अंडर एस्टिमेट अंडर एस्टिमेट होगी और प्रॉफिट क्या होगा ओवर स्टेट होगा ओवर एस्टिमेट होगा कास्ट आपकी अंडर अंडर एस्टिमेट होगी प्रॉफिट आपका ओवर एस्टिमेट होगा देन ट्रू इकोनॉमिक प्रॉफिट जो होगा ट्रू इकोनॉमिक प्रॉफिट पॉसिबल ही जीरो हो जाए इकोनॉमिक प्रॉफिट पॉसिबली जीरो हो जाए देन अगर गवर्नमेंट टैक्स इंपोज करती है गवर्नमेंट किस पे टैक्स इंपोज करती है प्रॉफिट पे इनकम पे टैक्स इंपोज करती है देन ओवर एस्टिमेटेड प्रॉफिट पे टैक्स जब इंपोज होगा देन corporate income tax will be higher as a result corporate income tax will discourage investment will discourage investment again corporate income tax is imposed on profit on income if price of capital rises over time then the legal definition under sc Mates the true cost. Underestimate the true cost because of the depreciation cost that is estimated on the basis of purchase price. That is the that is estimated on the purchase price. Depreciation cost purchase price is estimated. होती है वो काम होगी जब estimated cost underestimate होगी then profit क्या होगा वो ज्यादा फील होगा वो ओवर एस्टिमेट होगा देन फर्म कुड बी टैक्स इफ देयर टू इकोनॉमिक प्रॉफिट देन फर्म कुड बी टैक्स इफ देन देयर टू इकोनॉमिक प्रॉफिट इफ देयर टू इकोनॉमिक प्रॉफिट इज अकाउंटिंग प्रॉफिट माइनस अकाउंटिंग प्रॉफिट माइनस अपॉर्चुनिटी कॉस्ट That is the true economic 
प्रॉफिट जब इकोनॉमिक प्रॉफिट शुरू होगा दैन टैक्स इंक्रीज हो जाएगा ओके दस कॉर्पोरेट इनकम टैक्स विल डिस्करेज इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड इन्वेस्टमेंट पर विल शिफ्ट फ्रॉम वर्ड The next one is the investment tax credit. Investment tax credit. Basically, this is the incentive, tax incentive that is given to the firms by the government. Tax incentive given to the firms by the government. That is a tax credit. So investment tax credit definitely will support investment. The government uh, tax incentive will be tax credit will be then it will support investment. Thus, investment tax credit reduces a firm tax by a certain amount of dollars. That the firm spent on capital. Thus, investment tax credit effectively reduces capital price of capital, which increases the profit rate. Which increases the profit rate and the incentive to investment. As a result, investment increases. As a result, investment level increases. These two types of taxes we have done of The next one we will discuss Mandel claiming model. Mandel claiming model, the open economy. The next chapter we will discuss Mandel claiming model. Again, I'm going to share the screen. Bundle claiming model that is here, chapter number 12. 12 chapter is here. In the bundle claiming model, we discuss IS. LM curve for the small open economy and the large open economy, but here we will discuss it for small open economy. The Mandel framing model in, in this chapter we will discuss. First one we will discuss the Mandel framing model. Then we will discuss causes and effects of interest rate differentials. Next one, fix the difference between fixed and floating exchange rate. Here, the Mandel claiming model. The Mandel claiming model. Explain the relationship between exchange rate and output, which is achieved with the interaction of IS and LM curve under small open bar. We will discuss this model uh, uh, model in detail later, but first, one by one, we will discuss. Again, please listen again. Mandel claiming model explain the relationship between exchange rate and output. And 
under the framework of IS First, IS code. First one is IS code. IS basically abbreviation of investment saving ka. Investment and saving ka ye beta kya hai? Abbreviation. IS curve shows the relationship between which one will discuss? IS curve shows the goods market equation. First one, it shows the goods market equilibrium. IS curve in the Mandel Fleming model. IS curve in small open economy. First, we assume that we assume small open economy with suspect capital medium. We assume small open economy with perfect capital medium. जब बेटा परफेक्ट कैपिटल मोबिलिटी होगी आप चाहे फॉरेन से लोन लें चाहे पाकिस्तान से लोन लें देन रियल इंटरेस्ट रेट सेम होगा रियल इंटरेस्ट रेट क्या होगा सेम होगा सो देयर इन स्माल इकॉन ओपन इकोनॉमी वी एज्यूम दैट Local interest rate and international interest rate are equal. Where local interest rate and global interest rate are equal because capital is perfectly mobile. Capital is perfectly mobile. इजीली आप चाहे कहीं से भी कैपिटल बाय कर लें फाइनेंशियल कैपिटल बाय फॉरो कर लें चाहे आप ग्लोबल मार्केट से करें चाहे आप लोकल मार्केट से करें रियल इंटरेस्ट रेट इज सेम हियर गुड्स मार्केट इक्लिब्रम कंडीशन ऑफ इज ओवर हियर सो यू नो यू नो दैट अबाउट Here, uh, aggregate goods market equilibrium. Here, aggregate supply equal to aggregate demand. Aggregate supply is here. Why? Aggregate supply is here. Aggregate supply. Why? That is output. That is aggregate demand. Aggregate demand first is the consumption. Consumption is a function of income. Further, consumption is a function of disposable income. Y minus P. consumption is a function of disposable income jab hum income se tax nikal denge to wo income kya hoti hai by disposable that is c equal to c into y minus p that is the consumption function please remember c equal to c y minus p humne ye function add kar diya consumption is a function of disposable income Disposable income is the income minus taxes. That is the disposable income. So, so output is consumed by the household consumers. Household consumers consume their disposable income in the goods market. Okay. 
only disposable income is consumed in the good market. That is, this consumption is the household consumption. The next one is investment. That is the business fixed investment by the rental firms. Investment is a function of interest rate that is global interest rate that is equal to local interest rate. That is the tariff shows that global interest rate that is equal to local interest rate. Plus government expenditure. Plus net export. Net export is basically export minus import. Export minus import. Export the import ko aap deduct kar de, that is net export. Net export is a function of exchange rate. Here E is the nominal exchange rate, not real exchange. Nominal exchange rate definition is very clear. You must keep in your mind that definition of nominal exchange rate. Nominal exchange rate is the unit of foreign currency Nominal exchange rate shows that shows Nominal exchange rate shows the unit of local currency Nominal exchange rate Shows the units of local currency that can be purchased by one unit of foreign currency. Like how many units of past rupees can be purchased by one dollar? One dollar one hundred and fifty-three rupees by Karpata. That is the nominal exchange rate. Formula is local currency divided by foreign currency. Local currency divided by foreign currency is the ratio of local currency to foreign currency. 163 rupees divided by $1. $1, 153 to buy that is the nominal exchange Okay. In this sense, I got nominal exchange rate but round. If nominal exchange rate is going up, if nominal exchange rate is going up, then exports will be reduced and imports will be increased. Sorry, it's a little bit of this If exchange rate increased, like the one dollar one hundred sixty three pe buy kar sakta hai. Ab iska effect kya hoga? Imports aapki kam ho jayegi, exports aapki padhegi. Reason kya hai? Ki rupee ki purchasing power bahut kam hai. International market, they will be cheap by Kama Changi. After you will exchange rupee with dollar. You will get little amount of dollar with large amount of rupees. Then you will buy little amount of goods and services in the international market. The reason is very clear because of lower purchasing power of rupee. You will buy less amount of goods and services from the market. Like in export, US can buy a large amount of past goods because of higher purchasing power of dollar. Of dollar ki purchasing power, US, Canada, UK, yeah. 
पाकिस्तान की बहुत सारी गुड्स को बाय कर सकते हैं पाकिस्तान एक्सपोर्ट विल इंक्रीज अगर एक्सचेंज रेट बढ़ेगा एक्सपोर्ट पाकिस्तान की बढ़ेगी अगर एक्सचेंज रेट कम होगा ठीक है तो अगर एक्सचेंज रेट कम होगा देन एक्सपोर्ट बढ़ेंगे एक्सपोर्ट कम होंगे गेटिंग द पॉइंट दैट इज द रीजन पाकिस्तान बहुत पाकिस्तान स्पेंडिंग ए लार्ज शेयर ऑफ इट्स इनकम ऑन इम्पोर्ट बिकॉज ऑफ लोअर परचेजिंग पावर ऑफ पाक रुपीज पाकिस्तान रुपये की परचेजिंग पावर बहुत कम है इसलिए पाकिस्तान को बहुत ज्यादा रुपीज इम्पोर्ट पे कंज्यूम करना पड़ता है क्यों अगर पाकिस्तान फॉर एग्जाम्पल वन अरब रुपीज सॉरी 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 166 अरब रुपए की इंपोर्ट करना चाहता है तो पाकिस्तान को इंटरनेशनल मार्केट से कितने डॉलर मिलेंगे जस्ट वन अरब डॉलर मिलेगा और वन अरब डॉलर से पाकिस्तान इतनी इंपोर्ट नहीं कर पाएगा गेटिंग द पॉइंट सो हायर एक्सचेंज रेट इंक्रीज इंक्रीजेस एक्सपोर्ट and decreases imports and vice versa and lower exchange rate increases imports and decreases reduces exports yaad rahega so in the goods market we are in equilibrium position where aggregate supply equal to aggregate demand so is curve shows the combination of please Shows the combination of exchange rate and output level. Shows the combination of exchange rate and output level in the small open economy. In the equilibrium small open economy again. आई एस कर शोज द कम्बिनेशन ऑफ एक्सचेंज रेट एंड आउटपुट लेवल वेयर स्मॉल ओपन इकोनॉमी इज इन इक्लिब्रम वेयर स्मॉल ओपन इकोनॉमी इज इन इक्लिब्रम ओके so is curve shows the combination of exchange rate and output where goods market where small open economy where goods market in small open economy is in equilibrium so here the is curve is drawn here is a combination of exchange rate and output and interest rate is given the reason is that is curve is the reason for downward slope is curve is curve beta apna get downward slope is curve is downward slope the reason is very clear as एक्सचेंज रेट डिक्रीजेज मीन जब एक्सचेंज रेट आपका कम होगा कीप इन योर माइंड जब एक्सचेंज रेट आपका कम होगा देन नेट एक्सपोर्ट पे क्या इंपैक्ट होगा आपका देन नेट एक्सपोर्ट आपकी क्या है एक्सपोर्ट माइनस इंपोर्ट but one thing very clear keep in your mind exchange rate ke kam hone ke liye kya hai lower purchasing power of pass rupees one thing very clear lower purchasing power of pass rupees agar pass rupees ki purchasing power kam hogi then export badhegi import kam ho jayenge export badhegi इम्पोर्ट कम हो जाएंगे ये अपने माइंड में रखिएगा जब ये बोला जाए एक्सचेंज रेट कम है नॉमिनल एक्सचेंज रेट इट मीन 
पाक और पी की परचेजिंग पावर कम है अगर एक्सचेंज रेट इंक्रीज हो रहा है इट मीन पाक और पी की परचेजिंग पावर बढ़ रही है अगर एक्सचेंज रेट कम हो रहा है देन पाकिस्तान की प्रोडक्ट सस्ती हो रही है एक्सपोर्ट बढ़ेंगी और इम्पोर्ट कम हो जाएंगी जब एक्सपोर्ट बढ़ेगी इम्पोर्ट कम होगी देन एक्सपोर्ट माइनस इम्पोर्ट क्या हो जाएगी बढ़ेगी नेट एक्सपोर्ट बढ़ जाएगी क्यों पॉजिटिव पार्ट बढ़ रहा है माइनस इम्पोर्ट इम्पोर्ट कम हो रही है नेट एक्सपोर्ट बढ़ेगी देन जब नेट एक्सपोर्ट ये वाला पार्ट बढ़ जाएगा देन आउटपुट क्या हो जाएगी बढ़ जाएगी दैट इज द इंस्टीट्यूशन ऑफ फोर द स्लोप ऑफ आई एस एल द रीजन फॉर द डोनवर्ड स्लोप ऑफ आई एस एल एज अचेंज रेट डिक्रीजेज पाक रुपी परचेजिंग पावर डिक्रीजेज पाक रुपी परचेजिंग पावर डिक्रीजेज इम्पोर्ट कम होगी एक्सपोर्ट बढ़ेगी नेट एक्सपोर्ट बढ़ेगी एज अ रिजल्ट आउटपुट लेवल बढ़ेगा जब डिमांड बढ़ेगी पाकिस्तान की आउटपुट आउटपुट बढ़ेगी Now I'm going to going to